my friend Gus Demos of Perpetual Assets. Uh, Gus, I'm going to give kind of a long introduction, so bear with me. I want I want to tell a story to set this up. I met Gus five years ago on a pure business relationship when Gus and Will Lair helped me set up my self-directed individual retirement account, which was a great move on my part. Thank you, guys. But we were doing the deal, and you guys set up all the paperwork and held my hand through it. And there was a time when I was buying cryptocurrencies, and you, I had my private wallet that was attached to my self-directed IRA, and you were transmitting the stuff to me. So Will said, get on the phone with Gus, and he'll do the transmission. So I'm on the phone with you. I didn't know you at that point, and we were being very businesslike. Like, well, how's the weather in Hawaii? Like, okay. Right. <laughs> and and we had like a meaningless conversation for 20 minutes while all this, all this, uh, all the transactions came and they, they all did. So then I met you at the Litecoin conference in 2019 in Las Vegas. Pre uh, six months, pre COVID. The yeah. world, the world, the world was still normal at the time, if, if you recall. Can, can you imagine? Try to put your mindset in that time and then see everything that's happened and try to wrap your head around that. So. Well, well, I, not to cut off your story and, and dive right back into it, but we did the last six conferences we did before COVID, for some reason, stick out most vividly in my mind, including the one where, where we met in Vegas, only because they seem, they seem like they were 20 years ago. But yeah. that's, how, that's how much the pandemic wore us down. Psycho yeah. uh, psychologically, where everything that happened before that seems like a lifetime ago, if that makes sense. Re remember the one uh, Bix Weir had a party in San Francisco at the brewery in yes, yes, 2018. Yes. That seems like a lifetime ago. We, me and Will, me, Will, and uh, Ian, uh, our executive assistant, we're in uh, Acapulco. We we do uh, Jeff's. Uh, we did Jeff's show. Uh, Anar Berwick's in uh, Anarcopulco. We did it like six years in a row. Uh, yeah. We spoke. We were presenters, etc. That was February of 2020, two weeks before they locked everything down. So we're in Mexico in Acapulco, and it's a bunch of crazy uh, libertarian crypto metals yeah. guys out there drinking on the beach, saying. Uh, did you hear about this uh, bullshit out of China and yada, yada, yada? We're like, yeah, whatever. You know, it's all yeah, nonsense. yeah. Stuff. It's going to happen. And then lo and behold, we get out, I get it off a plane. And 10 days later, we're, I'm locked down in a, in a high rise on, on the Las Vegas Strip. After, after where we met in Vegas, I moved yeah. to Vegas uh, in, in January 2020, six weeks before the pandemic. So I moved to Vegas, moved into this high rise, like right on the Strip. And... Uh, it, it gets locked down six weeks later, and I'm like, "You, oh, yeah. you've got to be, you've got to be shitting me!" Yeah, it was like, yeah. really? Like I, I moved out here for the, for the zombie apocalypse, really. Uh, so about and, that time, so okay, we were having this business relationship where I was buying all these cryptos, and I get on the phone with you. I didn't really know you. I made, I made the conference, but it was still being cautious and very business like. And then I heard you do somebody's podcast. It was titled Cuss with Gus. Yes. Uh, yeah. And you were just cutting loose. And I can remember being in my house, listening to that during lockdown, just going, oh, man, I want to talk with Gus. I want to have like, one of these. No. Oh, man, I love Gus. That's great. Like I, we. So yeah, we. Uh, Bix, Bix, uh, who we've known for 10 years, uh, about six years ago, seven years ago. We all went out for beers and, and stuff, and uh, I cut loose. You know, Bix, Bix and Will are much more uh, tranquil and relaxed yeah. and not it, you know. And, uh, you know, I have a few drinks, and I'm like, fuck these people. This is all bullshit. You know, I'm much more uh, – I don't know if it's the Greek blood or the Chicago upbringing or what, but I'm like, no, it's all fucking bullshit and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So Bix is like, I'm going to introduce you to okay. a uh, – Okay, you froze for a second. We're back. Oh, and by the way, yeah. uh, subscribers – uh, Gus, we're putting this out in a private form, so we say whatever the hell we want to say. I'll warn you: there will be some, there will be some bad language. There will be some f bombs. Parental, yeah, they, per parental advisory. Yes, yeah. yeah like okay, so um, yeah, that uh, it's just crazy. Where are you now? Where are you? I, 
I, I am in Argentina. Uh, I've been in Argentina for uh, 10 days. Uh, I spent the first seven days uh, in Buenos Aires, uh, the capital of uh, our, the country and of the province. And about on Saturday, I flew into uh, northern uh, Argentina, the province of Misiones, and went to Iwazu, uh, which is where the Argentinian, Brazilian, and uh, Paraguay border meet, three countries of the same border on the river. It's also probably the most wonderful, amazing waterfall on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Very famous waterfall in Iwazu. And then four days, three days ago, I drove into the four hours from the waterfall into the uh, Posadas, which is where I am right now. It's it's, uh, it's the capital of the Misiones province of Argentina. So I've been I've been on the ground uh, observing, working and uh, trying to understand the hyperinflation firsthand. Um, and without being without being long winded, uh, we've been studying this. stuff. I've been studying this stuff for 20 years uh, and been in this in metals and in retirement account and in crypto for 10. Uh, so this is the stuff we've t- been talking about and reading about and all that for for a decade or more. And I'm like, you know what? It's happening in real time. Yeah. And an amazing look, let me go see it. Like we're waiting it for we're we we're all waiting for it to happen to us. Like, let me go see what it's actually like on the ground. And these people are, you know, it's it just got the pace just got devalued again from 500 and then the blue market at 720. So I'm like, I'm going to go see it. And my, and my girlfriend's uh, Argentinian too. So that made the decision even easier. Um, but I've been here for 11 days and as advertised, it's insane. It's insane uh, to, to witness. It's insane to watch um, everything from buying an asset to buying a pack of cigarettes, to buying a, a, a car, a steak dinner, a cup of coffee. It's insane. Uh, it's the sh- it's the stuff me and you have been reading about with you know Weimar Germany and Zimbabwe and all all these stories we've heard throughout uh, history. Uh, they're living it here, and it's I, I had to come witnesses and it, to, to be honest to see if there's any opportunity for us as a, as a business. Yeah, you know it's we're in crypto and metal.